Hello Taurus, Elsie here to do a bonus read for you, my friends. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. So let's do it. Let's uh, just pick up a deck here. Let's find out what's going on. Um, we'll just throw some cards. Uh, the bonus reads are, um, they never really have a date or a time. Um, this is for the current energy, uh, energy for the future. But listen, not every reading that you watch is going to resonate on the day that you watch it because these are all predictions. So I always often wonder when people are in the comments saying, oh, it resonates. And maybe it does. Maybe it, maybe you're leading up to it. But these are all predictions. So take keep that uh, in your mind as you're watching and please be aware that this is a general reading it's not going to resonate for everyone and if it doesn't resonate for you just leave it for someone it resonates for look through the comments is it resonating with other people then maybe it was a message for them taurus thank you so much I, that's why i come here to do these readings for all the ways that you eat up my readings so quick i'm just keeping up with you right now <laughs> the readings tell me about taurus please tell me about the bull gang what's going on for taurus taurus we have the seven of cups in the reverse you know what? That's a decision made to me. No more illusions. I'm no more, I, I'm not confused any longer with what I want. I want it all. <laughs> I just heard Queen. I want it all and I want it now. <laughs> yeah. So it, it feels like somebody has decided that they know where their wish fulfillment is or where this, um, this legacy, long term, um, lots of money possibly. Let's keep going. We have the Four of Pentacles, but I'm going to keep it under my hat. It feels like somebody's made a decision about the Ten of Pentacles. I know what I want for the long term, but I'm not really sharing it. I'm going to keep it under my hat, or I'm going to keep holding on to it tightly. Gosh, now I got Ice Ice Baby in my head. <laughs> Tell you what, everything is music when you're a clear audience. <laughs> Everything is music and words. Okay, so we have uh, Eight of Wands. We do have the Page of Cups. Oh, interesting. And then we have Temperance. Look, something's coming up, Taurus. Something is coming up, Taurus. Do you know what's being hidden? I feel it's the Page of Cups. I feel like there is an abundant new connection coming in, Taurus. That's what it feels like. And it's coming in in divine timing. So you might be saying, well, where is it? <laughs> well, um, divine timing isn't up to you. When temperance shows up, it is a major arcana card. And, you know, we have the minor arcana, which you have all kinds of choices in. And then you have the major arcana, which are going to show up whether you want them to show up or not. The only uh, way that you... Um, the only decision you have to make is whether you're going to react or respond when it does show up. So I feel like this um, this temperance energy tells me is coming in super quick. Somebody's made a decision about you. The seven of cups in the reverse is no more confusion. I'm not confused emotionally at all. So it feels like you're about to get some incoming energy here. And the eight of wands is, I feel somebody shooting their shot. That's what it feels like. Somebody is, there is going to be some abundant there's going to be some communication coming about abundant things so please uh, be aware that the ten of pentacles isn't always a long-term relationship it is money right pentacles are money and they are in the 3d and so you could be getting a uh, confirmation of money that's coming to you maybe it's a, a loan maybe uh, you finally sold the house or um, it feels like the incoming energy that's coming here is uh, the ten of pentacles so it's going to make you happy because it's everything that you want it's going to either give you long-term finances long-term relationship long-term friendship but it is legacy it's legacy. It's going to be around for a while. So this is brand new to you here. I have a feeling for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, this might mean that it is a new connection. But for others of you, it just means it's a surprise. It's going to, it's going to catch you off guard because it's divine timing. It's divine timing and a moment of alchemy. Something that you might not necessarily know that you needed or that was in the background being brought to you as a blessing. I think there's a great big blessing coming. This is the official person for me, the King of Swords. And so this person is someone who's a, ju a, a judge, a magistrate, somebody who is a, like a, a notary somebody who is uh, maybe a police officer, psychologist, psychiatrist, somebody who makes a decision that's best for everyone involved. And so it feels like there is somebody who will be communicating with you to tell you that it's yours or they pick you or something like that with the seven of cups in the reverse here. Somebody is very clear now. There, There's no, um, there's no um, illusion and there is no confusion emotionally. Tell me about the Ten Pentacles. What is this, please? Tell me about Taurus and the Ten Pentacles. 
We have the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, it's a job. It's a job you've been waiting for for a really long time. You may have put in a, a resume or had a, an interview a long while back, and it's just finally coming forward now. We do have the Page of Wands. It's exciting. It's really exciting information, Taurus, that's arriving here. And it's because you've done the hard work on something. So the Eight of Pentacles can also be self-mastery. So you've you've really put in the hard work on you or on your business. Or maybe um, it feels like it's, it's a, a job that you've applied for. You've put in some hard work on something and you're about to see. You're about to see it come to fruition here. What else do we have after the Page of Wands? Queen of Cups. So for some of you, maybe you haven't talked to um, your mother for a while, or your older sister, or a brother, or a father. The Queen of Cups, to me, I always see first as a parent. So it could be a parent that we're talking about. The Queen of Cups is also an indication of the depth of love, also um, a psychic connection. This person's very empathic and kind and compassionate. Um, this person feels everything. <laughs> so I think that uh, for some of you, this, this means that there is a really uh, exciting, um, long-term uh, love that might be coming forward and I what by long term I mean I don't know if it's going to be long term for the future but someone that you've loved for a long time so that tells me it could be a member of the family or a best friend someone you grew up with but it definitely could be a, a love connection as well and so for some of you this is going this this communication that you're getting or whatever is coming at you fast here is going to be good news because the page of cups is here um, but it feels like you're going to keep it under wraps like i don't think you're going to tell anybody why is that tell me about the four of pentacles here the five of wands you're not going to tell anybody because of competition yeah i feel like you're when when whatever it is that comes in that is the Ten of Pentacles that makes you incredibly happy and excited, I don't feel like you're going to share it with everyone. I feel like you're going to keep it under wraps uh, because you don't want competition. Um, I think you're going to hesitate as to whether you're going to tell people about it or not. The Six of Pentacles is here. Maybe you don't want people asking you for money. And then we have the Queen of Swords. I feel like what it is is uh, the, uh, the Six of Pentacles tells me that with the Queen of Swords here, that you're going to be very honest with people, but on your own terms, when you want to. We're talking about pentacle energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, they don't do things when you tell them to do things. They will do things in their own time, and they have their own timeline. They'll plan it the way they want it, and then they'll take care of it, right? But um, I feel like you are going to be keeping something under, under the surface for a bit here. Tell me what this Ten of Pentacles is. What is this exciting thing that's coming here? Tell me what it is. We have uh, the Nine of Swords. It's something that you've been, that's been worrying you, or it's going to free you from a cycle you've been stuck in. And so you might be worrying about money. You might be worrying about your family, worrying about long-term things. And I feel like it's going to show up when you least expect it, because the Death card is in the reverse, and you're not expecting any change, Taurus. You're not expecting anything to change. It's like work, eat, sleep, Groundhog Day. You're not expecting any Anything to change and all of a sudden the eight of wands busts into your life here we have the strength card you're gonna have to have courage you're gonna have to be strong because I feel like whatever is showing up is big whether it is big love big money it's big excitement is what it is tell me about temperance please the Queen of Swords tells me that you will tell people whatever this is but I feel like right now you're keeping it under under the covers here, keeping it in this little box that she's got here. She's hiding her, her money and her keys, and she's hiding all of that stuff here. We've got the uh, King of Pentacles. We've got the Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords. So look, I feel like for if you are a person who is dealing with someone who is a King of Pentacles, who is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I feel like this person either betrayed you or this person you had a really hard ending with. I feel like this person has been watching you with the Page of Swords here. I feel like they're learning your movements. I want to say, learning what you do, watching your posts, watching your stories, looking at you on Insta. If you do have a platform, they're probably watching you there on Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is. So it does feel like this. there's a painful thing that went down between you and the King of Pentacles. 
Or for some of you, it could be that you've been having a really hard time with finances, that you've been trying to keep everything balanced here. And I think what's coming to an end is your struggle financially. If you've been really struggling financially, because the King of, of Pentacles indicates that you will have more than you need. The King of Pentacles is the one who has the Midas touch. And the Midas touch because Taurus is an overgiver. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all of the earth signs. They're always always in service of others, right? They're always charitable, the overgivers, right? And so I feel like with this King of, of uh, Pentacles present, it tells me that... that um, you have uh, the Midas touch, like you've been throwing so much at the universe for such a long time that is positive and kind. Um, that is, uh, maybe you've been supporting other people financially or just uh, giving, you know, giving to charity possibly. But it feels like it's about to come back to you, I want to say. It's, it's whatever you've been throwing at the universe is about to come back to you. All right, so uh, tell me about the Seven of Cups. Because it feels like somebody is very clear on a decision here. Very clear. It's the King of Cups. This is a soulmate for you, I feel. Somebody that you still feel connected to. Somebody that, uh, whether is they're a soulmate friend or maybe a, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father. Somebody you feel very connected to. This person is somebody who's always been very protective of you, Taurus. They've Whether they've been around you or not, whether you know it or not, they're somebody who's kept their feelings under the surface. They've not really told you about them, but they've always been very protective of you. And I think that's why the, the Page of Swords is here. They're trying to learn about you. They're becoming a student of you. It's like they keep looking in on you because they feel they feel this very protective energy. But the, the King of Cups is somebody who is emotionally available. This person is ready to hand over their cup. And um, I feel like they're willing to take one from you. Uh, we do have the Eight of Swords. There are delays, though. And I feel like the delay is that they are obsessively thinking about what to say. They don't know what to say. The King of Cups is somebody who wants to keep all of their feelings under the surface. And not because they're trying to stuff them down. Like, this person is emotionally available. They will show you their, their feelings, but they're just not ready. They're not sure what to say, how to say it. Because this isn't page kind of love. This is big love. <laughs> this is really big love, right? And then we have the Two of Cups. Yeah, they have big feelings, Taurus. So for some of you, it is about feelings. Others of you, it's about money. Either way, we've got the surprise here. What's the surprise? Tell me about this. We've got the Seven of Swords. A secret is coming out, and it's going to be reason to celebrate. What? Taurus, it's going to be reason to celebrate. Because somebody picks you. I think it's the person that you pick picks you. The Lovers is about a choice. You're choosing to celebrate because something that has been secret or under the surface or being concealed from you for so long, I feel is about to come forward. I feel for some of you, it's someone who is coming forward to ask you, can we go out? I feel like the Three of Cups is always celebratory invitations. Can I take you out for a coffee? Can I take you out for a drink? Like it feels, it feels like that. You are waiting on, I don't think you're waiting on it though. That's the thing. I feel like you wished it would happen, but I feel like you think it's not going to happen because divine timing tells me that you have no idea what's going down. Like you have no idea what's going down, but you, you can't stop it from showing up. I feel like there's a reunion here. It's either between two friends who have a lot of love for each other that haven't seen each other in years. Maybe your friend from across the world is showing up in your life and you didn't know they'd be in town. It could be that. We do have the King of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Devil. The moon is on the bottom of the deck with the Five of Swords. Somebody doesn't know how you feel about them because there could have been words or uh, tense times or conflicts or different disagreements between you and this person. I think that they have grown. Um, the Knight of Wands in the reverse is telling me that, that somebody here has a lot to say. They want to tell the truth. They want to be transparent with you. But somebody here is, is holding themselves back or has been holding themselves back because they don't want to crash into your life like the, like the Knight of Wands. They don't want you to think that they're just showing up for booty call, right? They don't want you to think that they're just showing up because you're good looking or because, you know, they, they don't want that. I feel like this person is coming in. Um, I feel like they're 
coming in as swords because they don't want you to think that they're just showing up with an obsessive compulsion for you. And um, the the devil energy and the the knight of wands in the reverse tells me that somebody does under under the download does have some sort of obsessive fire feelings about you but they're showing up as the king of swords to you somebody who's making the best decision for everyone involved i feel like this person does want to see you taurus i feel like you're not going to know when they're showing up they're just going to show up out of nowhere i feel like i feel like you're not even expecting this because you think that this is over it's done because we had a really big argument there's like fundamental differences here. We don't agree on things. And I feel like you think it's just over. But I think it's not over. I think it's just been silent. I think there's been silence. And I feel like it's about to take flight here with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands does what she wants when she wants to do it, my friends. We do have Pisces and Cancer energy here. We have Gemini, um, Libra, and Aquarius as well. We do have Capricorn energy. We do have the king and the queen of swords. I feel like there's going to be a sword fight. Do you know what I mean? Like, it feels like maybe it's not a fight, but it feels like two people know how to speak with each other. Very head over heart. We're going to do it in a detached way. We're going to, it almost feels like somebody feels like they have to come in a little bit guarded, that they can't come in with emotions. They can't come in with fire. They've got to come in being in swords because that's who they think they're meeting. So I feel like you're the queen of swords. They are the king of swords. And we're going to have a conversation that doesn't get out of hand in our our emotions. I think that's why we've got the King of Cups here because that's the stoic one, right? The one who's not going to who's not going to let everything get out of hand emotionally. We're going to talk about these things first before um, before any of this erupts, right? But I feel like there will be some sort of a maybe even a secret meeting. I'm going to say like it almost feels like this person is doing it under the down low, and and we've got you know we've got the seven of swords here, but we also have the four of pentacles. So it almost and this this four of pentacles is telling me here that somebody here is you know trying to keep it trying to keep it quiet. Like it, that's what it feels like. So I'm not sure what that is all about, but it does feel like um, there is. There is something that's about to change that you're not aware of. You thought that something was never going to change because the death card is in the reverse. You thought they would never change. The situation would never change. You would never see this person again. And I feel like you need to, I need, you need to buckle in, baby. <laughs> that's what it feels like. You're being asked to show courage, to show strength, to hold back, to not just jump on them and say, oh, you're here. I feel like you're supposed to you're supposed to be like the King of Cups, like the King of Swords, like the Queen of Swords. You're supposed to play it off in sort of a detached way, like, oh, it's you. Where do you come from? You know what I mean? Just be cool, Taurus. Cool as a cucumber. This person is trying to be cool as well, though. I feel like these two people really have it for each other, but neither one of them is willing to show it. So I guess we'll see. I'm going to leave this here for now. Taurus, thank you so much for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. I'm out for now. I will see you later. Love you guys. Bye.